British Prime Minister Theresa May took a risky gamble and lost heavily when Britons cast their ballots on June 8. Prime Minister May's efforts to secure her own mandate as she prepared to head into extremely tough Brexit negotiations by calling elections three years early resulted in her party paying a very high price at the polls. She's now engaged in intense negotiations with the Northern Ireland-based Democratic Unionist Party to eke out a governing majority, which according to observers, may not succeed in plucking her from the thin ice she's skating within her own party. What the country needs more than ever is certainty. And having secured the largest number of votes and the greatest number of seats in the general election, it is clear that only the Conservative and Unionist Party has the legitimacy and ability to provide that certainty by commanding a majority in the House of Commons. This will allow us to come together as a country and channel our energies towards a successful Brexit deal that works for everyone in this country. That's what people voted for last June. That's what we will deliver. Now let's get to work. Theresa May is a dead woman walking. It's just how long she's going to remain on death row. And I think we will well, know very guess. I think we will know very shortly. Uh, in other words, we could easily get to the middle of next week and it all collapses for her. Or if it doesn't, and I agree with Toby, there are many Tory MPs who don't want a leadership contest right now. It'll be delayed. But be in no doubt, look, look, look at this weekend. You've got the leader of the opposition coming on the programme as yeah. a sort of victor. And you've got the prime minister who's supposed to have won the election in hiding. And that tells you volumes about, speaks volumes about what's gone on in the election. People voted for hope. Young people and old people all came together yesterday. Very high turnout, huge increase in the Labour vote and they did it because they want to see thing, things done differently and they want hope in their lives.